what is good nation it's stock j back with another video and this one i'm going to be talking about the one only amc stock what you should be looking out for for the future i'm also going to do some in-depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow based off of the charts are showing and based off of the data is suggesting i'm also going to break down what's going on in the overall market and how this may affect amc and why we still have some very big dates ahead of us now before i break anything down about amc before i talk about whether or not adam aaron's latest tweets that just came out are very important or significant for amc i do have to mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only but if it's me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description we sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and the best part is any of these 15 free stocks could be a free amc share it's limited time I'm offer the offerings in just two weeks check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc this thing's actually down pretty hard for today if you guys are actually looking at the price you will see that amc is down like almost six percent and once again it's not looking that good right now we are starting to respect a bit of a downtrend and amc is continuing to just drop from here now amc is getting very close at least at the time of recording this to filling the gap down here i would take amc down just about six dollars flat now considering that amc did actually touch like the six dollar zone or like 5.95 we got a big bounce off that it is possible for us to see kind of like a repeat of this but if we don't get that big bounce guys it's also very possible for amc to come all the way down to that 5.75 range or even lower than that so please be very prepared for that guys the market is just not in the best of states but we're not necessarily in like the end of the world phase as well so look at this overall trend on spy the SPY actually started to get a big rejection today. It is starting to come down. We have one problem with SPY. So earnings are coming out. And so far, you know, they've been pretty good or pretty decent so far. But now we have other big ones like Tesla coming out pretty soon. It's actually coming out after the time I'm recording this. If SPY breaks below this, <coughs> excuse me, this like 365 level, and we end up breaking to about the 364s, it's very possible for us to actually start filling the gap down here. Now, this would actually bring SPY to the low 360s, which is very possible. If I see us come all the way down here, it's very possible that we're gonna drop and drop and start filling this gap. Now, that's a more bearish possibility. There's also a chance that this is, whole thing is just a trap for the bears and the bulls are gonna come back. We need to see confirmation tomorrow. Okay, so watch for SPY. Do we hold this like 365 range? Do we actually hold this up or do we get a big rejection? If we hold this range and we start to see some volume coming in, it's possible for us to get a big rally from here. But if we break below 365 very soon and we hold below that, we start trending down, very possible for us to come down and actually fill the gap down here. Now, if SPY does come crashing all the way back down to this gap fill zone around the like 35 uh, 357, 358 level, not going to be a good sign for AMC. AMC would likely come down to the high $5 range if that ends up being the case. And I know that's concerning for a lot of people. I know some people are very stressed out, but I do have some good pieces of news at the same time. If you look at AMC's overall cost to borrow, it's still around 20%. That's a sign that it is becoming very hard to short this thing becoming more expensive to do so and this is a good opportunity for sure to start closing a lot of their positions now just because the market drops so hard in like one day it doesn't mean that we're just dead from here amc is dropping on low volume this is some of the lowest vol volume we've seen in many many years for amc so this is a good sign because when the volume picks up and we get lots of bullish buyers coming in it's going to really cause the share price to soar because the volume is just so low right now but i am seeing potential for the overall short falling percentage to go up as more shorts and sellers are coming in now looking at the overall trend right now there's a very similar price comparison between amc and spy and then right here you guys can see the price price ratio is still downtrending this is a, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Sorry, guys. This is a sign of weakness for AMC. AMC is showing major signs of weakness. It's continuing to downtrend. Losing support zones, once again, not looking the best. Then coming down to the seasonality basis, 
Unfortunately, Thursdays have a tendency of actually being red 48% of the time. So I'm very cautious right now. I'm not necessarily too fixated on either direction. And then looking at other metrics when it comes to data, we are still seeing lots of FUD articles and things like that. Now for earnings, we do have big earnings coming out today, not to mention Tesla's earnings. Uh, it's coming out very soon. Uh, I'm actually recording this like right before. So the whole market could actually respond to Tesla depending on what is announced. So please be on the lookout for that. There's also been talk about Adam Aaron. Adam Aaron put on his Twitter page, all right? He said AMC is headquartered in Kansas City, home to the AFC champion Chiefs. So this is important because now a lot of people are talking about, okay, Adam Aaron is now tweeting about football. Now, could this just be, you know, him enjoying his time there? Or could this be a sign, a sign that AMC may be merging with the NFL, working on something with the NFL, maybe live streaming NFL games? I don't truly know if that's going to be the case. I don't see confirmation of it, like some people are saying on Reddit. But it is a possibility. And if AMC does that, that's going to be very big, in my honest opinion. So looking at the overall data, you know, AMC is looking pretty bearish, guys. We are respecting a downtrend for the time being. But I want to see how this thing reacts to $6 in that 5.95 range. If the market gets a big bounce, like how we see all these fake outs, very possible AMC could get a bounce too. But if that's not the case, AMC is going to continue to come down. Overall, let me just show you guys what the trend is showing us. Right now, AMC is respecting this downtrend just like this. So I want to see a sign of reversal. I'm not seeing the sign just yet. So it could take a little time before we actually get to the point where we want to be. This channel is still looking pretty bearish. I actually draw it out like this. You guys can see AMC is just continuing to now fall and fall and fall but if we reach the end of this like falling wedge like formation we could get a big bounce later on and that's essentially what i'm going to be looking out for so for tomorrow what i think could end up happening is something like this amc might continue to drop for a little bit of time all right kind of like this but sometime tomorrow it really depends on spy too amc might get a big bounce after that so if we come down like this retest it come out like this we could get a breakout of back to the six dollar range get a quick rejection and then start to push up from there that's what essentially what i'm hoping for depending on how earnings go and we could actually continue to kind of like soar to the moon from there and this is just like a 20 10 20 cent drop i'm talking about it's not anything like too major and from there amc could continue to push back into this zone over the next couple of days. This is what I'm hoping for. I hope AMC does get a nice bounce, but for the time being, we are downtrending, so we should see this overall falling wedge kind of perpetuate from this point. As far as Ape goes, let me pull up Ape real quick. Same thing, guys. Ape is just on this big downtrend. It did actually get a small bounce right here, so I'm hoping Ape continues to push up from here. But overall, guys, we need confirmation of the big bounce. I'm hoping it comes tomorrow. Very possible it does. And we did fill out our gap that was actually formed on Ape. So that's a good sign for Ape. Ape looks like it could get a nice bounce from here. It <laughs> still is very uh, oversold uh, from right here. So please be very cautious. Anyways, thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC and Ape to the moon because the long-term future is still very bright. And peace out.